Hi students and parents and welcome to Open House. Uh, I'm Ms. Tally. If you're seeing this, one of your students is in one of my classes. Uh, I prepared a PowerPoint for you. Um, I'm going to go through that in just a moment, but um, I just want to introduce myself, say it's nice to meet you. I've enjoyed having your students so far. Uh, the kids have been pretty good about logging in. Um, but they're all extremely wonderful kids and I feel very fortunate to have them in my class this year. So I want to tell you a little bit about the individual classes. All right. So this is my schedule. Um, I've got morning office hours from 7.30 to 8.30 every morning. It's for students only. Um, my first block on 8A is Algebra 2, followed by Algebra 2 support. I have a planning period and then my foundations. Uh, on B day, I'm planning in the morning and then I have Algebra 2 support and then study skills and then Algebra 2. Uh, I also have afternoon office hours every day from 2 to 4.30. Uh, so your students are welcome to log in and ask for any help um, they need to. I'll, I'm on Zoom for that entire time, so they don't need to let me know ahead of schedule. Uh, they could just hop on in. Um, so Zoom links for the class. Hopefully everybody knows where they are, but just so you know, as a parent, they're at the top of each of my class pages. Now this is my Algebra 2 class, but uh, I've highlighted the Zoom links here. They look like this on every single class that I have. Um, assignments. So that's kind of the biggest question, where are they? So all of my unit folders will be yellow, just like this one that you see. Um, you can click into that and that's where your child's assignments are going to be. All right, so for my individual classes, Algebra 2 and support, just some highlights. Um, it is important that all parents know that grading is significantly different than it was in March. Um, all grades are counting. The grade can go up and go down and fluctuate as it normally would um, if we were in school. Uh, for Algebra 2, we've got a 50% formative category, which is all classwork, projects, and quizzes. We also have a 50% summative, which is your test. So those are weighted equally, um, which means your participation in classwork and projects is just as important as your performance on your test, okay? Um, in support, we will be reinforcing everything in Algebra 2. I will be assigning some additional assignments, but it's all just to practice and review and preview um, what's going on in Algebra 2. Um, I've told the kids if they have an iPhone, download Calculate 84. This is what the icon looks like. Likewise, if you have an Android, you can get the Wabbit app and that's what it looks like. Uh, if you have neither of those, you can use Desmos. Um, I've also provided several links in Schoology for the kids um, for different mathematical calculations. Uh, if you're in my study skills class, um, my grading category is one big category, which means everything goes in so it's weighted differently. Projects will be 20 points, classwork might be five points, okay? So the bigger projects and things we take more time on are gonna um, weigh more into your grade. Um, I have told my study skills students, please come prepared. If you need any assistance in other classes, I need the students to come forward. I will be trying to check grades weekly and I'll be asking the kids to keep up with their grades. Um, and some other things we're gonna be doing in between supporting the other classes are transition planning, goal planning, talking about study habits, organizational skills, and communication skills. Um, for my Foundations of Algebra class, um, the grading categories are gonna be just like they are uh, in Algebra 2, 50% formative, 50% summative, meaning your participation in your classwork and homework is just as important as your performance on your test, okay? Um, same thing goes for the calculators. Um, I'd like for them to either have a calculator, um, download one of these apps, or be able to get to the websites that they need to get to to um, make those calculations during class. Um, if you wouldn't mind, take a moment and use this QR code. It's just gonna link you to a Google form where you can sign in. I've put some directions over here on the side. Um, at the end of that form, it does ask if you as a parent would like to meet with me uh, privately in a Zoom. Uh, 
If you do, let me know at the bottom of that Google form and I'd be more than happy to get in touch and send you a Zoom link and answer any further questions that you have. Um, it was very nice meeting you. I hope your child is enjoying my class so far. I certainly am enjoying all of them. Uh, it's wonderful to be back in school and be interacting with the kids. I've missed them so much since March. Um, again, uh, I'm completely and always open for any kind of communication. You can email me, you can um, text me on my Google Voice number. I'm gonna go back to my first slide so you can see those. Uh, there is my email, there's my Google text. All your uh, students have it too, it's in Schoology. Um, so please access us at any time. And again, don't forget to sign in, saying that you were at Open House. And I look forward to speaking with you in the future. Thank you so much. And it was so nice to meet you.